Garrett, how tough was that third inning to take? Obviously, some things that were out of your control in that inning. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> to be honest, it started a little bit at the end of the second. Um, you know, I got ahead of Wendell, uh, couldn't put him away with the back foot slider, too much back and too much foot, and then fell behind Tatsugo uh, with a lot of misfires, had to burn a bunch of pitches. And came out to the third inning to Zanino with non-competitive pitches to start. Uh, got us in a bit of a bind. Um, and then again fell behind Diaz. Uh, you know, uh, it's tough to uh, it's tough to keep guys on the defensive when you're constantly falling behind. And there was, you know, there was just too many. You know, there was there was just too much loss of leverage for 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 that. And and um, you know. Defense aside, all said and done, they're probably answering back with at least one there. Uh, and my job is to go out there and do a, you know, throw a shutout inning uh, and try to keep the momentum on our side. And, you know, it just wasn't good enough. Tsutsugo in that, I believe, seventh inning there, were you okay with the pitch selection? Was it more about execution there? Or would you throw a different pitch in that situ situation if given another chance? Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of undecided. Um, you know, I think uh, you know with the re with the result, with what had happened, he was able to you know you know he lose his balance, but but you know stayed through the ball. Um, that pitch was the most you know the changeup was the most consistent. I think uh, secondary offering at that point in the game certainly, uh, like especially locating the pitch wise. I thought it was well located. I actually thought we sequenced you know three three quality pitches to him, but you know maybe the pitch selection was. Was uh, not quite the right one, you know. We we went after Wendell as well. Uh, executed a really good high up and in fastball to him that you know he kept up the middle. Um, you know, so you know, a couple good you know, a couple good swings on 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 some good pitches. Not not you know, I probably should have thrown another fastball. I don't know. Overall, obviously, the offense has not been consistent. They have not been able to, to score runs for the starting staff and five straight losses now. Just how does this team go about bouncing back over the week plus that you've had? Well, I, th I think we just – I think we just got to play hard baseball. I mean, you know, we got to take it one pitch at a time and, and sell out to every pitch. Uh, you know, the, the, results, the results will start to come uh, if we stay in that mindset. Um, and we leave the field every day exhausted. Uh, you know, good things are good things are on the horizon. Um, you know, but I don't have the magic wand. I don't know when it's going to turn. Uh, and and um, you know, right now when you're kind of going through it, um, you just gotta you just gotta keep grinding. You just gotta keep grinding and, and play hard baseball. Tom Merriam, you have the next question. Go ahead. God, what's the mood of the team right now in the dugout in the clubhouse? The, the mood of the team. Um, I think, well, uh, certainly not happy. Um, you know, I, it's not happy. Who else has a question for Garrett? Dave Lennon, go ahead. Hey, Garrett, we asked Aaron Judge this yesterday, just, you know, based on the, the slow start for you guys, if he would, what would he have put the probability of that at, you know, based on the depth and the talent on the team? And he said, you know, very low. I mean, just how kind of surprising is it for you guys to, you know, you don't win games on paper, but but even still, to, to know what you guys are capable of to be kind of in a, in a tailspin like this right now. Well, I mean, to be honest, like, Everybody on this team's played enough to have gone through a, a, a spurt personally where they're, they're not really playing their best. Um, you know, for for several of our cylinders, you know, that we lean on to not be clicking at the same time and kind of misfiring, um, is is a bit is a bit uh, it's less than ideal, certainly. So, um, you know, but I don't think it's we have too too much experience. Um, we have too many good players that have gone through adversity before. You know, to really be surprised by it. I mean, we're, we're I mean, we, you know, you play this game long enough, you're gonna go through some, you're gonna go through some crap. You know, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to strap your boots on and wade through the mud a little bit. Um, you know, so 
I'm never surprised really with what the game kind of throws at us. Uh, it's always unpredictable whether the odds are in your favor or they're not. Um, I think that's probably the beauty of it. Um, and so we just got to get through it the best we can. Uh, and, and just like I said, we got to take it one pitch at a time and, and just be locked in, you know, as a group, slow it down and, um, and, 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 you know, kind of just methodically just keep, keep moving forward. Thanks, Garrett. Yeah. Joe, you have the next question. Please unmute. Garrett, uh, on that note, then, how much do you put this on you guys internally and in needing to play better versus crediting your opponents, the Rays and Jays specifically, in these last two series? Yeah, I mean, it's a bit of a give and take. Um, I can't really give you a ratio on what I think. I think uh, if all the players, if all of us look ourselves in the mirror, uh, you know, even when we're playing well, there's probably something that we can be doing to get better. Um, and we need to, con you know, we need to keep that mindset. Uh, I don't want to take away credit from, you know, the other players that are on the other team that are that are obviously capitalizing on the mistakes. I mean, today, you know, today specifically, I thought was, you know, pretty, you know, pretty pretty fair. I mean, I, I made a fair amount of I made a fair amount of bad pitches. I I, I certainly got a call or two. Uh, they put a fair amount of good swings on it, and you know, when it's all said and done. Um, you know they ended up they ended up scoring just enough just enough to win and 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 that's baseball sometimes so uh, I don't I, I don't know I don't know what the mix is um, and and so so you got to be realistic with your evaluation uh, in terms of what your opponent is doing well um, but you also got to look yourself in the mirror and and continue to try to get better. 